Uh, welcome to Thunkworks. How are you all doing? Just out in the workshop. It's uh, a big mess at the moment, so I'm going to start off having a very quick tidy up, and then I think we'll uh, get stuck into a little project. Right, so that's a super quick tidy up. Um, at least I can at least sort of get to my welding table, and there's a little bit of space on the workbench over there. To continue in that same frame of mind, uh, I want to create a little bit more um, tool storage. So I used to have a big snap on toolbox, I had all my tools in it. Really nice toolbox, but it didn't really fit how my workshop I wanted my workshop. And not too long ago, I put this board up on the wall and put so all my spanners, these are the ones that used to be in my spanner rack I made. Um, and I've got the, my some screwdrivers up on the wall. Now these are sitting in these aluminium tool racks. Uh, I made these myself. They're just uh, uh, scrap aluminium. They're like uh, door kick plates. Um, so you know these are custom made uh, to fit sort of this set. And this one's a little bit smaller. But what we're going to do, we're going to make uh, maybe two or three more of these. Maybe we'll start with one for the video. And um, so I've got space up here. I've also got I've also got these tool boards here that could do with uh, some more storage and some more organisation. So that's what we're going to do. And we do actually have a piece. So this is what we're using for this. So this is uh, I don't know, like 1.2 mil aluminium, I think. Um, it's 150 millimeters uh, wide. And I'm not sure the length, maybe seven, eight hundred millimeters. Um, I've actually already cut one end um, out previously. Um, what I need to do is decide how long this one's going to be. I think I'll just make it as long as possible and then cut the other end out, do some bending and draw some holes and that'll be pretty much it. Uh, so obviously this end's uh, already cut out. And all I've got is just this little, little template. Um, I've marked where I think it needs to be. So that's that cut out. Now I'm just going to mark out some lines straight across where, and then uh, the spacing for where all my holes would want to be. Um, cut out now. Uh, we just need to put a few bends in this. Um, and what I've got, so this is just a super simple homemade uh, sheet metal bender that I've made. Um, it's a piece of angle iron, a couple of hinges, it's bolted to my welding table. And I've got this big piece of steel here that I just clamp down and uh, lift this up, and it, and it bolts for me. Um,
go. So it will need a little bit of finessing just to get this perfectly 90 just because my uh, homemade sheet metal folder is not that great. Um, but it does the job. Uh, so now I'm just going to bend these uh, these little tabs in. Where are we? Just got to bend these little tabs in and then bend along this line and I'm going to tuck that under there. A um, couple of little uh, sheet metal sheet metal screws will go through the front just to secure it and uh, then we can mount that on the wall. So there we go, uh, all done. I think, um, so these holes, I've, I've drilled these to about 12 millimeters, which is a pretty good size for um, most sort of screwdrivers and things. I can always make them bigger if I want to put like a file or something in them. And I think I'm going to rearrange this. I'm going to take this, this is just like a steel rail I've put up. He's just tucked behind it. I'm going to take that off and I'll probably put that in its place a bit nicer and then I'm going to move this, um, uh, this magnetic strip, put that on the other side, and then probably make another one, I think. Um, but I won't do that in this video. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed watching. Uh, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell, we'll get not notifications for whenever I post another video. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and see you next time.